Hello everyone and welcome back to my second channel. So today I am getting my modeling digitals done. I am very excited. I've got all my outfits planned. However, I'm not impressed with how my skin has been acting up. Um, it was clear last week and now it's looking like this. This is open. I don't know how I'm going to cover these. You're not even supposed to wear any makeup for modeling digitals, but I'm going to have to try and cover these somehow. I also got my nails done yesterday, so they're nice and natural. Okay, say hi, owls. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, so I have to do some light makeup and it's about an hour drive to the place and I have an hour and 15 to get ready. So I'm gonna have a nice light breakfast and um, then yeah, just start getting ready, do some light makeup. I'm gonna do some light curls in my hair, all really natural. We're doing my digitals and then about five to six creative looks. So I'm really excited. Um, I'll show you guys uh, the studio and everything and also try and get some behind the scenes if I can. And then I'll vlog after because after I'm gonna go to the mall and we're gonna get my boyfriend a Build-A-Bear. I'm so excited, so I'm gonna do that for him. And then my mom and I are gonna go out tonight to celebrate and just go out for drinks and appetizers. So yeah, that is the day plan. Yesterday I did a good gym workout, um, got my nails done, like I said, got a pedicure. And so yeah, I'll prep for the big day today. I'll take you guys along with me. Wow, who is just the handsomest puppy? Who is handsome? You're just so gorgeous. You are just gorgeous, aren't you? But you do have separation anxiety, that is true. Okay, so I just finished my hair and makeup. Now my hair is not very natural for digitals. I thought if I brushed out my curls, they would look softer. So I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do. I think I might just try and fix this part, but I mean, it is gonna fall, I think, because I don't shoot for another two hours. It's 9.05 right now, and uh, we don't start until 11, so I think it will fall a bit. And then here is my makeup done. It is super natural. I barely did anything. All I did was really um, add concealer and a lip liner that matches my lips, a little bit of like a blush, a liquid blush, but I put it on my hand first and then put it on my cheek so I think it's pretty natural of course I have the lash lift and tint so I didn't have to do anything to my lashes but I think it's definitely a no makeup makeup look I'm just more concerned about my hair but it is kind of like I don't know fashiony we'll see so that is the hair and makeup I have to leave in 30 minutes so I kind of got ready pretty early but I might touch up my hair a bit and just make sure I have everything packed, maybe have another snack, and then head out the door and get on the highway. It's also gonna take me a while to find parking in downtown Toronto, so better to be early than late. Just made it into Toronto. I'm 10 minutes early, but my gosh, the traffic was A, terrible. B, it is pouring rain and freezing out. I just had to pay for parking, so I did that, but the girl has to pee, number one, and number two, she's so nervous, and number three, why does that have to be so rainy? It's so cold, and I have to carry all my props in, so wish me luck. I'll see you guys. and I already went to the mall. The traffic was so bad, it took me almost two hours to get to the mall, which should take me like 30 minutes. It was absolutely brutal. So I didn't um, 
vlog after the shoot, but I don't really have any clips either because it was only her and I, so we were just focused on getting the content. But it went so good. I've never done a shoot like that because I've only done stuff for my clothing line. So this was like really contemporary, like vintage style. And there was a super cool, like old fashioned radio thing that I found. And I like laid on it with like some baggy jeans and like did some cool topless shots. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to see the photos. And then I went to the mall to get my boyfriend a Build-A-Bear. So I'll show you him later. Um, because it is going to be rush hour, so I do have to get on the highway now. But I was absolutely starving because I haven't eaten anything since my shoot, and it's now 5 o'clock. So I got this little vegan potato sandwich I'm from this Egyptian street food place. So I thought we could, we could try it together. Um, I think it's literally just potatoes. I don't know. Not bad, not bad. Definitely, there's the hunger that I was having. I'm starting to get hangry and build a, and build a bear. But the girl there was so sweet. She was absolutely divine. And I recorded my little message, so it was a really fun experience. But by the end of it, I was like, okay, I'm starving, I need food. But it's not bad, it's like got tomato and stuff in there. <laughs> Going to get home now. I think I have to walk the dog still, which I'm not looking forward to because it's been pouring rain. And then I'm going out for drinks and appetizers with my mom to celebrate my shoot because I was so stressed and nervous for it since it's something that I don't normally do. Like I said, it's a really different style shoot, but I'm really happy with how I did and how it turned out. And I love the photographer staff. She's just always amazing. So I'm going to go out and celebrate with my mom and then, yeah, show you guys my build a bear So I will see you later. Mwah. Cheers. Hello guys, so it is the next morning and I just got ready to go to brunch with my best friend Danny. I'm leaving my hair like this, I just don't have it in me to brush it. Um, but I did my makeup at least and I have a cute oversized outfit on, I'll show you guys. Really comfy for the cold weather outside, it's this just oversized sweater and then these vintage pants that I thrifted and they're just super comfy, like just baggy and delightful for the cold weather and i think the hair matches i want to show you guys my mousse that i got my boyfriend before i go eros is laying on my bed right now but he thinks this is a toy for him so i have to hide it from him because he's gonna definitely rip into it while i'm away but i ended up making him this canada mousse build bear as you guys know he lives in the uk and i'm in canada so it's like a little piece of me is always with him I gave him little glasses because my Thomas has glasses and I gave him a white t-shirt because he always wears a white t-shirt and then I gave him a little phone so that he can do FaceTime calls <sighs> and he smells like peppermint. It's kind of faded a little bit. It's supposed to last three years, but it's just not very strong. See, Arrow thinks it's for him. Baby, I'm sorry, it's not for you. I'm sorry, it's not for you. Um, and it smells like peppermint because he always has peppermint tea before bed. And then, and the voice thing, I'm not gonna play it because it's annoying, but it just says like, loving and missing you all the way from across the pond. So yeah, I got him, daddy, so cute. I'm so happy with him. And the girl who helped me, like I said, was so nice. So, slow present for him. But I have to go to brunch now. Um, I'll bring you guys along so you can just see what I order, I'm not sure. Well, it's not brunch, they didn't have brunch on a weekday, so it's just lunch, but bring you guys along to say hi to Danny and show you what I got. Say hi to Eros, who thinks it's a toy for him. My love, I'm sorry, it's not. Oh, look at him sitting so nice too. Oh, look at you posing for the camera, you're so handsome. I'm sorry, but you're not getting this moose. This moose was like his bed. <laughs> with Danny which was so nice catching up with her and I had um this 
the plant-based salad which was so good and hearty and healthy and then after for dessert i ordered the fruit crumble which i did not like at all i didn't eat it i just ate the vegan ice cream off of it but then i went to the mall and i got eros a couple toys since we all know he is the babyest of puppies and then it's my um boyfriend's sister's birthday december 8th so I wanted to get her a couple of presents from Canada instead of just like getting something over there. So I went to the mall and they have this one store that has all these local vendors. So I got her a little card. They have a ton of cats, so she loves cats, got her that. Then I got her this. This is called a ring keeper. So it goes on her keys and then she can put her rings in there. She wears even more rings than I do. Today's not a good example because I'm not wearing any, but she has a ton of them. So this is good too have for her when she's traveling or going to work and whatnot and then i got her this little gold plated ring which i thought was so pretty and it's adjustable so i loved that for her it's really cool yeah i love that for myself as well <laughs> and then i got her this cup which i thought was too funny not to get it says anxious cat lady <laughs> so i got her that too so at least now i don't have to worry about ordering her something or shopping while I'm over there. I know it's done and ready. I just need to get a little box for it. And yeah, I got Arrow some toys. Um, I got my mom some socks. And now I am off to go home, pack orders, walk the dog, maybe film. So much to do before I leave tomorrow. I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed and definitely tired, especially with the gloomy weather, excuse me. so. I am off to head home. I will end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed the little mini vlogs, the little day in my life. Uh, nothing too crazy happening in my life, but the studio day was pretty special. That was really fun. And then tomorrow I leave. I have to film and then I'm off to the airport. I just remembered that I forgot to go to the pharmacy and get my medication. Oh! Okay, I'm off to go get my meds and then I'll go home. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the little daily vlog and I will see you in my next one. Be sure to leave any uh, comment requests or video requests, sorry, that you have in the comments. Bye.